Hello Cam fam and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm showing you a facial featuring honey, aloe vera, and Indian healing clay. Today we will be taking the aloe vera on a wonderful trip across my face because it's dry, like my hair, dry. That's what I be dealing with, dryness. Obviously I don't drink enough water. Speaking of which, fam, drink more water. They used to tell us that all the time in basic training. I think I will forever hear, drink water! my nightmares. Anyway, today we're doing a little DIY facial for rejuvenating, rehydrating, moisturizing, and nourishing dry grayish skin. Let's get started. First things first, let's mix the goods. All right, we're gonna start off with a tablespoon of Aztec Indian Healing Clay, two tablespoons of warm water, a tablespoon of honey, and aloe vera. This aloe vera I blended because I want to get the least chunkiest final product. Now I do need a tablespoon of this aloe vera, but trying to get a spoonful of aloe vera is about the hardest thing I've done for 2021. That might have been a tablespoon. I like my mask to be a little bit more pasty, so I am gonna go ahead and add a little bit more of the Indian Healing Clay. Once you've reached your desired consistency, time to apply. Okay, so starting off on clean, dry skin, we will apply our DIY Aloe and Honey Indian Healing Clay Mask. I washed my face off cam, using the Clinique Acne Solutions Cleansing Foam, step one. My main concern with my skin is dryness. Occasionally, I do have, you know, an acne breakout or some type of bad skin response to maybe something that I ate or something in my environment. However, my use of the Clinique three-step system has hands down every single time saved my ass whenever my skin has looked crazy for any reason, be it emotional, hormonal, I ate it, I drank it, anything really. Clinique got my back. Not sponsored. Okay, Cam Fam, as you can see, I have applied my mask all over my face with the exception of my under eye areas. I rarely, if not never, put a mask that dries up under my eyes. What I do imply instead is under eye patches. Today's under eye patch will be the Wander Beauty Baggage Claim Gold Eye Masks. I don't like for my under eye area to dry out. My under eye area is my arch nemesis. These are the kind of bags you check in on a flight. You hear me? Going to apply my under eye patches. Now we wait. 20 minutes later, my face is dry. Not long at all. Let's rinse. Okay, now that my face is rinsed off, I'm gonna move on to my Clinique Acne Solutions Clarifying Lotion, step two. I apply this to a cotton pad and then I just wipe my face. I love this stuff because it has always gotten any left behind gunk or grime that my cleanser did not get. It always gets the rest of it. I've been using this stuff for 10 plus years and I've never had a problem with my skin. When I first had issues with my skin, I used it every single day. However, 
Now that I don't see reoccurring issues with my skin, I just use it every once in a while. Gonna finish up with the Clinique Acne Solutions All Over Clearing Treatment, step three. And voila, my easy DIY moisturizing facial plus Clinique three-step acne clearing treatment. This facial guaranteed to give me moisturized, hydrated, nourished, rejuvenated, clean skin. And don't forget clear and bright. My skin is ready for whatever I do next. I can go to bed if that's how I'm feeling. But however you're feeling, Cam Fam, do it with a clear conscience and clear pores. Thanks for spending this time with me trying out a DIY, super moisturizing, super hydrating, super nourishing honey and aloe vera facial. My name is Camille Chanel. I post videos once a week, wash day videos in addition to facial videos. So if you would like to see more content of this nature, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Thanks for spending time with me and I'll see you on the next one.